Raise your hands wherever you are. I pray for your higher life in the name of Jesus. May your spirit begin to receive a higher life. A higher move of the spirit. Something that you cannot shake off. Make a mark that can never be erased. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Thank you so very much. Yes. Are you ready? Praise the Lord. Now. Let me say it this way. Raise your Bible. Raise your Bible. Say, this is my Bible. I do what it says I do. I have what it says I have. From this Bible, I get the mind of God. The word of God is inerrant and sufficient in its nature. I receive it today in Jesus' name. Amen. You can sit down, but don't sit on your mouth. Around the world, we are with you. And a lot from here is coming to you. Deliverance is not when you roll on the floor and vomit. Deliverance is when your ignorance is confronted. I decree and declare somebody here will receive their full deliverance. In this higher life midweek, you will receive your full deliverance in the name of Jesus. I want to start on this wise. Proverbs 19 verse number 9 and 10. Let's take it from NASB and also the NLT if we can. I'm still waiting. Luxury is not fitting for a fool. Now I feel like this, this guy's... you to understand something that please without provoking you into something or even trying to anchor you I'm not trying to anger you but the Bible is telling us if you don't have luxury you are a fool now let me go to this because this is all right says whenever luxury comes it comes to people who are of intelligence so 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 it is a misnomer in fact it is an anomaly for a fool to have luxury so absence of luxury in my life is pure evidence or rather a feedback from the spiritual realm that I am a fool there might be people here who fit this description, so I'll go here. Because the way you are too silent when I'm talking right now. Now the Bible then says, a fool said in his heart, there is no God. So a fool is a person who says there is no God. But what happens when the fool knows there is a God? This is the same question I ask. What happens when a liar begins to tell the truth? Here the scripture is saying, luxury is not fitting for a fool, much less for a slave to rule over princes. <sighs> I'm trying to get it to sink in. You see, if you are being provoked or something is happening in your system right now. 
Let the shoe fit. In fact, tie the laces. It's for you. <laughs> Every time you see luxury on someone, and it's not on you, the luxury refused to come to you. Okay, let me show you something. Mm. Take to your neighbor, say, neighbor, poverty, lack of luxury, poverty is not the absence of resources. It is not the absence of resources. It is not the absence of money. It is the absence of imagination. You are broke because you don't. Anyway, this is. L listen, I'm not dealing with feelings here. Do you realize that in the Bible? see some some of these things i have to prove to you because i, I know you you get lost a little bit am i talking to somebody or you've gone home should i get to you or should i just do something it is amazing it is amazing what i'm about to show you leviticus 27 and i will try and read verse number one and go like that so that these are verses that are just coming to me and demanding to be spoken. Are you getting this? Leviticus 27. Rahasevukundia. This is Moses speaking, verse number two. Hear this. Speak to the children, to the Israelites, and say to them, if anyone makes a special word, vow to dedicate a person. How many? What, what is it? A dog? A cow? A person? To the Lord by giving the equivalent value. Uh -huh. So there is equivalence. Uh -huh. God measures you by money. Hey. Okay. Maybe. Okay, let me sit down because I know you. You will see some fool going there like I don't like I don't like this. This is this. I don't like it. You know. You know when you have real cash, you look like you are actually this, 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 this braggadocious kind of thing. See, there is a certain value assigned to a man. So he says, when you want to dedicate your children in the temple, bring equivalent money. Equivalent value. Person, if it's two dollars, you are worth two dollars. Read it. Three. See, people try to interpret these things. Set the value of a male between ages of 20 and 60 at 50 shekels of silver. Uh -uh. So according to you, when you see money, you see money. When God see man, sees money, he sees your value. Let me just ask you one simple question. If somebody walks in here with a gun and says, yeah, give me 20,000, I'll kill you. Will you produce it? That means your life is equivalent to the money you don't even have. No, you're still not getting what I'm trying to say. According to the sanctuary shekel, let's go. For a female, let the value be at 30 shekels. That goes over your head, all you feminists. I need it to sink in because the feminists are quiet now. God says if it's male, 50 shekels. If it's a woman, 30. I guess we are equal. Anyway, let's go to somewhere else.
all you feminists. I need it to sink in because the feminists are quiet now. God says if it's male, 50 shekels. If it's a woman, 30. I guess we are equal. Anyway, let's go to somewhere else. Offering. Some blocker is writing that year. You see, they are taking money. According to God, they are bringing their value. Here it is. Are you still flowing or you've gone home? Let's go back to the original scripture. Radeluskare. Let's go back. Let's go back. Malivuria Tezus. Take on the heart for art for this. Just imagine. Are you hearing this? That there is a link here between fools and money. Luxury is not fitting for a fool. That means every time you see luxury with a fool, it's not fitting. And Jesus said, you will always have the poor with you. Do you know what Jesus was saying? He was removing himself from the poor. I've heard all kind of nonsense. Jesus was poor. It's a lie. Oh, he was born in a manger. There is no Bible saying it. The Bible says he was placed in a manger. Were they looking for a manger? The Bible says they were looking for the hotel. When the hotel was full, they went. Get my message called the bank statement of Jesus Christ. Do you know Apostle Paul? He says even the Agrippa, you know, Felix and Agrippa, all these governors, they wished the money would be given from Apostle Paul so that they would release him. Apostle Paul, he had the kind of money that he would be in jail and governors would planning. So he, he, needs, he needs to give me 1,000. <laughs> Says the governor wished he was given money to let him go from Apostle Paul. If you get arrested today, will be there be anyone thinking, mm, some money. <laughs> the police officer will come and offer you money. I speak to somebody under the influence of my voice. The day you will know money is not an issue. <laughs> because what we need to try and remove from your head is money is evil. You like it? But you got to preach a different message to yourself. Let me show you something. Because I have no time. Me no got time. Proverbs 23 verse number 4. Proverbs 23 verse number 4. Ah, I need speed. No, no. Let's go to the other version. Because people won't even understand it. Another version. Like NASP. Labor not to be rich. Okay, and I sit down now. I'm, I'm tired. Let me speak to my online people. The Bible says, do not labor to be rich. Anything you sweat for will never make you rich. I know you're not getting it. Seize from your own wisdom. Anytime you are struggling to make it, you're using your own wisdom. Have you ever sat down and go like, where am I going wrong? You know, just last week I was sitting outside my house like this. Outside my mansion, sorry. And then... I said to myself, where did I get this all right? <laughs> I'm speaking to somebody under the influence of my voice. Do you 
realize, listen to this. Do you realize people like John G. Lake had a certain understanding of medicine and certain understanding of healing that in Spokane it became the most, listen, the most clean, in fact, the, the, most, the most clean and contained city that no disease could enter because of one man of God. When viruses were rampaging the whole place, he said, put the virus here and the bacteria is in my hands. And said, then watch with your machines. And as they looked, the machines were dying. The, the, the bacteria were dying. The, the bacteria was dying. The, the virus dying. What had he done? He had mastered this game. He understood. Takachi mastered game each. He had mastered this whole thing. He had mastered it. Uh, my grandfather in the Lord, who is the patriarch, when we say grandfather, we simply mean patriarch in the ministry. Ida Hossa Benson, Ida Hossa. We're singing, he said, bring me 21 dead people, 21 deaf people, 21 crippled. Then I will start preaching. Then he sat down. Now the preachers of their wish there is no dead person in the ministry. Mm, they wish there is no squirrel anywhere. Why? Because we are different creatures. Those guys had mastered the ability. They knew the tricks that control that realm. <laughs> they were in Nigeria and Pastor Ben. Will line up even when you had no faith. John Alexander Dawe. No school to talk about. No business acumen. Never went to school anywhere. He built a, a city called Zion City with hospitals and streets. Do you know what? It's still in existence today. A man of God. No business school. What did he mastered? The dynamics that control money. I know of a man when they said in Botswana there that his brother had stolen money and everyone there, he said, no, 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 no. When they came for a crusade, he said, no, no, no. This man is here to collect offerings. He went on stage and said, miracle. The dynamics that control money. I know of a man when they said in Botswana there that his brother had stolen money and everyone there, he said, no, 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 no. When they came for a crusade, he said, no, no, no. This man is here to collect offerings. He went on stage and said, miracle started it. Somebody said, where is the money coming from? If I give you one million for sure through Miracle Man, would you ask this question? Let me tell you something. Doubt is the privilege of poor people. Rich people rarely doubt. <laughs> Do you know why academics fail to become business people? Because they calculate risks. They know the advantages of doing this and the disadvantages of doing this. And then the disadvantages become more than the advantages and they never take the risk. But some of us have lost logic. We are here for Jesus. We go for what we want. And it's a higher life to everybody in this place. Higher life this year of heaven and earth. Higher life.
and we haven't even gone anywhere. La ruska ban koyeske gita la ushe verazuska atarogume analis. Do not toil to acquire wealth. Be discerning enough to desist. Are you hearing? The book of Psalms, one number two, 127, verse number 1 and 2. I want you to see something. Raklesh to Gira to Sai. It is vain, vanity, for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows, for he gives his beloved sleep. This scripture is saying nine to five is evil. I don't want to really get into your... Bring another, another version, maybe amplified, I don't know. And I told you before, I like amplified because it is influenced by women and women like talking. Look at how many words. It is vain for you to rise up early, to take rest late, to eat the bread of anxious toil. For he gives blessings to his beloved in sleep. Notice the difference. Says when we sleep, that's when he whispers information on how we get rich when we get up. I asked my, my father, Pastor Chris, and I said, what do you do at night? What do you dream of? I wanted to know. He said, dream? I said, yeah. What do you dream of when Pastor Chris lays his head on the pillow? What does he dream? He says, I, I just continue what I was doing in the afternoon. No, 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 no. And the thing is now chasing you every night. <laughs> Some are continuing. They don't have the eight hours only. They actually have the whole 24 hours. So you can come up and say you are 30 years old and you were born in the same year with Pastor Chris. He will be around 90, 100. Because you have eight hours of work. He has every hour. And he's sleeping and he gets strategies. Somebody under the influence of my voice. It's, in fact, I have a serious feeling. In fact, it's a spiritual push. Remember Anakazo. Push by threats. That somebody here who is hearing this thing will shock all of us this year. This year you will shock all of us with a higher life. A higher life. Mm. Mm. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. It is really slow. One, two, three. Read the first three words. Thank you so much. You can remove. He says, I am black but lovely. We can go to Hezekiah. We can go to all this. We can even go to Peter. He wasn't white. He was black. 
And it's in the scriptures. When you hear him saying, and Simon of Cyrene, and Peter from this location, and this one from this location, he's trying to distinguish the rest. He wasn't white. He was black. And it's in the scriptures. When you hear him saying, and Simon of Cyrene, and Peter from this location, and this one from this location, he's trying to distinguish the race. That tells you the location of the person. I'm talking to somebody. Should I give you this scripture? Because I, I don't know what you to... And I haven't even studied the scriptures that I need. I came here for. Oh. Are you flowing or you've gone home? Mm. Uh, mm. Ecclesiastes 2 verse number 23. <laughs> I love spirit embassy. Love you more. Ecclesiastes 2 verse number 23. For all his days are sorrows. In fact, let's go 21, right? Please pray for the people back there. 21 is very difficult to find. For there is a man whose labor is in wisdom and in knowledge and in equity. Yet to a man that he hath not labored therein, shall he leave it for his portion. This also is vanity and a great evil. What he is saying is, imagine working very hard to get money. Then there is a bozo who is not working. And when you die, they take what you worked for. Let's go. See, he calls it a great evil. Let's go. For what is man of all his labor and all the vexation of his heart. I know you might not know what the word vexation mean, but means, but it actually means you'll be vexed if you don't know. Vex. Vexation. <laughs> now, now, you see, automatically they got the, the, the revelation. And of the vexation of his Let's go. There is nothing better for a man <laughs> than he should eat and drink. This means water, okay? And that he should make his soul enjoy good in his labor. This also I saw that it was from the hand of God. I, 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 I don't... Did I just... Bring it back to you. He's saying all this is evil. That you work hard and you don't find anything. But when you work hard and nothing comes, it is a great evil. But what is good then? It is better for a man. Hmm. That he should eat and drink. And that he should make his soul enjoy good in his labor. This also I saw. This one is from the head of God. I put you in the hand of God. <laughs> ah! Hey! Hey! One day when you just want to flex and you have actually learned how actually to do this without any trouble and then you start moving and everyone is talking about did you see him? Did you see him? Do, do you see that? Did you see that? I don't know what happens. It seems as if every time a preacher buys something, a house, a car, something, there is chaos on the streets. The problem is you never see the rich commenting.
Listen, I'm not being emotional, I'll tell you. I'm not being emotional. I'm not even angry. I'm not short-tempered. I just have a quick reaction to stupidity. On what, on, on what earth should the Christian live in? What really constitutes a godly amount of money? Where is the scripture that says this one? I remember I went to Australia. And I got to Australia. And at the immigration, I, I forgot I had bought this phone called virtue and i bought it for eighteen thousand dollars one phone now phones in virtue those days would go to 120 000 or whatever no internet doesn't go no no whatsapp can go on there it's a phone it's one of those phones you appear in the meeting just put it in front like this you will stop everyone and be like what I said, it's just a status symbol. And I, as I was going like this, and they grabbed it, they opened the bags, and they took the bags. So I had written there deliberately. I have other businesses and all that, but I knew I was in Australia, and these people are really, really racist. <laughs> Pure stuff. I'm telling you now, Australians are the most racist people you can ever meet. When you are in Australia, you are in the wrong country, at the wrong time, in the wrong skin. And they looked at my bag and then said, can you open this? I said, open it. And they opened it. I said, mm, this is a virtual phone. He started calling other people. Said, how much can this be? How much, how much this is? This guy said, no, around maybe 25,000 Australian dollars. And, and they're trying to calculate. And they said, what do you say you... You do again? I said, uh, maybe I didn't write it correctly. Let me write it as a preacher. <laughs> the message, he started getting angry and, and you know, they are filming. I said, ah, as long as you are filming, I have to be more cocky now. I'm going to be on TV. Let's go. I want to play dead and raw. No. I said, yeah, so you are a preacher. Don't you think you're wasting money? I said, whose money are you talking about? I said, yeah, preachers should be giving even 30% or 40% of their money. I said, no, I gave 90% from the 10% that's left. for a fool to see luxury. <laughs> so the comment section is also full of people who have not ever seen luxury. Since you know where I'm getting my start your own church. <laughs> if this is the way money is made, you see, this is the reason why poor people who work for rich people never get rich. You will find somebody's maid for 20 years. They are a maid. They say, I've been with my maid for 20 years. And the maid will be like, yes. <laughs> why? Because they never learn. Every time they see money or opulence, they are thinking, they are attaching it to some, some secret shrine. Or some place you store the money. I remember when H Metro started. It was really hot on, in those days. Now, now it's balanced. <laughs> and they said, Angel is taking people's money. I called them to the HSC. Remember those days? Offering was taken, tithing was taken. I said, leave it there. H Metro, count it. That day it was about 500 and something dollars 
all of it. And HSC was on $10,000 for four hours. I said, please write. I said, in fact, when they ended, I said, let's agree. When you see the balance, you work out my expenses, you see the balance, you give me the money. They obliged thinking it was just some joke. They thought there was money. If you start church for money, you'll be in the prayer line. All these people just think, you know, you know, the biggest problem that happens is when you're sitting in front like this, when you see these people who are sitting in front here, I say, yeah, now offering time. And you see them go in front like this. Watch the way they give. They just go like this. They put it under the other ones like, you know. All these first row, second row, these are the dollar bar guys. I'm telling you, where's those who are online? They're just sitting in their house. Nobody's even reviewing what they're giving. On your prayer place, good news, well taught, two dollars. And they will look very spiritual on Zoom. They will. And, eh, nobody can actually see what you have given. But you know what happens? Somebody in the corner there is thinking everyone is giving 2,000, 1,500. So in your heads, my God, 500,000. <laughs> Remember the story I told you how this is a true story. A dollar and a hundred dollar met. Said, you have not seen you for a long time. The dollar said, yeah, me too. Where have you been? Hundred dollar said, in the Bars, brothels, beer halls everywhere, clubs and, and casinos. Said, but where have you been? Said, in church as usual. <laughs> this is the location for the dollar. That if the preacher does not become enterprising, you will lose your calling. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, little preacher, young preacher. The Bible says it this way. God will give you the provisions. When I sent you out, did you lack anything? They said no. Listen to this. That means when God sends you, there is a provision. If there is no provision for your vision, then there is need for a revision of your vision. If God is not providing when he has sent you, stop prophesying dollars out of people's pockets. Like the moment I say, say, yeah, God is, stand up, son. God is talking to me that you should give me 5,000. Now, now, now. <laughs> this is the only problem. Taking money from them. When the person who is accused of taking money is not taking it. Thanks, sir. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? Parusa lengre efatuske et kahasus. Here we are about to go now. First Timothy chapter number four. First Timothy chapter number four. Around the world, you are here. Latis arongre e kaguste. In fact, Ecclesiastes five verse number eighteen. Ecclesiastes five verse number eighteen. Before we go there. Renosa legas kitomai. Behold. And it was just me, my wife, and two kids or three, two kids at that time. And someone says, and two dogs, sorry. And then, and then, oh, I used to fear those dogs. 
my own dogs. See, this is very spiritual. <laughs> They were like this. They are bred to hunt lions. And somebody told me, buy them. I bought them as little like this. Yeah. I would just park next to the door. This person is asking me in Ghana. In Ghana. They had information. Said, why would you need a 30, 13 bedroom house? Why? I looked at him in the... I said, why would you need a brain that's stupid? Because how can you be that stupid and be able to breathe? Something in your brain should choke that oxygen. Uh, so I, you see, the Bible says when a fool asks you, answer them with a foolish answer. Yeah. I said, because I want to put one leg here, one leg in this bedroom, one hand there, one hand there, one head there. I might come back from the toilet, maybe I wake up and I say, I'm going, let me go there. And when I'm coming, I say, ah, it's too far, that bedroom, I'll be in here. <laughs> Listen, it is the power of poor people to want to manage rich people's money. The biggest problem of a rich man is a poor man. Why are you parking there? Why? He started shouting, shouting. I said, well, what's wrong with you? You don't like the car? Is it the color? <laughs> Someone asked one guy, one rich guy who was talking a lot here. He said, why is your Bugatti red? Why would you paint it Bugatti red? He said, no, no, what color is yours? Somebody who is hearing me right now, you will wake up in a few minutes. Ecclesiastes. One, two, three, if you could read it, it will be good. Behold, no, no, let's go to, to 1 Timothy 4, verse number 1. I want to show you something, and I will get into the Greek a little bit, so don't get confused when I get in the Greek. And I'm not trying to make it difficult. Rehando valisa kuketai borantes. I alive. This is God's last word on money. <laughs> now the spirit speaketh expressly. You know some people don't understand that the word is expressly here. It's the only time in the Bible it was ever used. Expressly means outspokenly. When everyone in a room like this and the Holy Ghost begins to shout. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly. You know some people don't understand that the word is expressly here. It's the only time in the Bible it was ever used. Expressly means outspokenly. When everyone in a room like this and the Holy Ghost begins to shout. So what? Some shall depart from the faith. And the word depart me to cause a standoff. To cause to withdraw. To remove yourself. Some will remove themselves from the faith. Say remove yourself from the faith. Right, right, number one. Remove yourself from the faith. Mm. 
Balaka Suze Tayo. You are taking time. You are taking time to write. She want me to give you how to write faster. You are listening slow. Now the Spirit speaks expressly that in later times, some shall depart from this faith, giving heed to seducing spirits. Giving what? Giving heed to seducing spirits. Giving heed to seducing. Is it bringing near seducing spirits? Molesting demons. They will have their minds molested by demons. Number one, you shall depart from the faith. Number two, you shall be molested by demons. Number three, and demons of doctrines. <laughs> doctrines that will call demons in. An extraction of teaching that is compelled or rather propelled by demons. That's what they will preach. Now we are going to be told what they preach. So I can see they are not getting it. That is, it says what? Seducing spirits. The word seducing there is the word planos. It simply means wandering, imposter, vagabond. Here it is. Now the spirit speaketh expressly that in later times some shall depart, move away from the faith, giving heed, drawing to themselves, imposter spirits. Impo you in order. Are you flowing? So in the later days, not in our time when we are preaching, not Timothy, not our time. Me, Paul, and you, Timothy. It's not for us. It's for the later generation. When we are dead and not our time. Me, Paul, and you, Timothy. It's not for us. It's for the later generation. When we are dead and gone, there will be some people who shall depart from the faith. Giving heed to seducing spirits, molesting demons, imposter spirits. They look like they like holiness, but they don't. Uh -huh. Lord, church without well walls. Now, the spirit speaketh expressly, non stop, outspokenly. It's out there. The spirit wants to be known that he's the one talking. Now he's saying, in the later times, some shall depart from the faith. One. How many, what shall they do? They will run away from the faith. Jesus says, when I come back, will I find a church? No. He said, will I find faith? He, he knew you will find churches. But the churches will be bankrupt of faith. Some shall depart from the faith, giving heed. Now, number one, depart from the faith. Number two, giving heed to imposter spirits that will molest their brains. Depart from? Molested by? Teaching the doctrines of? Uh -huh. Speaking what? A lie in hypocrisy. Do you know what is speaking a lie in hypocrisy? Is when you better angel comes here and begins to preach on holiness. Like you need to be holy. Don't worry about what you own. Don't worry about what you own. Possessions don't matter. Possessions don't matter as long as you go to God. And then we say, church is over. I get into my Lamborghini. You get what I'm talking about now. You are speaking a lie in hypocrisy. You just told us we'll get riches in heaven. But it seems as if only the preacher's riches are here. This is the time of Jesus when, when Jesus fed the 5,000. But in this day and age, the whole congregation of 5,000 feet, one pastor. You just lost that. It went over your head. So pastors now want mega churches so that they can improve their money. Yet Jesus fed the 5,000. But in this day and age, the 5,000 members feed one pastor. So the most exciting time for a preacher is offering time. 
He takes his time. When you are sick, he doesn't take time. I like other churches. They're not result oriented. A preacher just go, go to get, gets on the stage and goes, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. It's coming. Your miracle is around the corner. Show me the corner. I'll go to the corner. I don't need to wait for my corner. There is not one miracle recorded. Do you understand that Pope John Paul II, uh-huh. it took them two years to find only two miracles he has done so that he could be called a saint. You come to spirit members, everyone will be a saint. The Asher ah, uh, the, the protocol can heal. That's what church should be. It shouldn't just be the preacher. It should be everybody. The reason why preachers don't preach what I'm preaching now is because if they preach, they've taken away their own supper. Let's go. Because of time. Speaking lies in hypocrisy. People will come here, a lady will come here and say, it doesn't matter what man of God you find. As long as it's a prayerful man. Then you all listen. Until you see the husband. Eight peck, nine peck, ten peck. Yet the woman, is, the woman of God has just said, it doesn't matter. That's speaking a lie in hypocrisy. You know the truth and you are experiencing the truth. But you tell them it doesn't matter because they feed you. They are conscience seared with a hot iron. It means you get to a certain location where the mind is no longer confused. It gets confused, it gets deceived, but when the deception has gone too deep, your brain has been fried and ironed with a hot iron. So number one, they will depart from the faith. Number two, they will give heed to seducing spirits. They shall listen to teachings of God. Devils, they shall speak lies in hypocrisy and their brain is fried. How do we know that this is the truth? I speak to Depart from the faith. Number two, they will give heed to seducing spirits. They shall listen to teachings of devils. They shall speak lies in hypocrisy and their brain is fried. How do we know that this is the truth? I speak to If I show you this, do you know what you will say? You say it's light gospel. Where is what is it talking about? Just just meat and marriage. Oh my God. Let's wait. Which God has created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. What is it? What is the, the church preaching? Marriages? Food. Let me give you something for free. You don't have to pay. Okay. Do you know in the Bible? Feasting produced more miracles than fasting. 
Listen, no, 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 I'm not lying to you. Search from the book of Genesis. Every time they had feasts in Israel, how many feasts are there? How about seven? So you have got one, two, three, four, five. And you keep going. All these feasts, feasts of trumpet, feasts, they were eating. And miracles happened. There were no... about seven so you have got one two three four five and you keep going all these feasts feasts of trumpet feasts. they were eating and miracles happened there were no Fasting and God changed something. Never. Any preacher who will tell you if you fast, God will do something. He's lying to you. It's a huge lie. God says, I will give you the desires of your heart. Not of your fasting. What kind of God says, I'll give you all you, you will never. You see, the, the young lion suffers hunger ha. and he tells you that you will if you are getting this. <laughs> it is actually the devil who makes people like, not God. What fasting does, it positions your spirit. Because your flesh is too much around your spirit. So it positions your spirit until to begin to hear God. Do you, listen, do you see here, right now? There are people playing good football right now here. But there is no antenna for us to catch the waves. So we can't see them play here. But they are right there. What we lack is the connection for us to see them play here. Do you see me up there? I wasn't there. But because there are some connections that made me to be there. So that's what your spirit does. Every time you remove your flesh, your spirit begins to see beyond. Do you understand that in the New Testament there is not even a 40 days fasting? Do you understand how many people are fasting for money? It's, it's, you fast for money? Do you understand what it means to fast? Some people do 40 days, 40 nights. I'm only 40 days, 40 nights. You are wasting your time. God is not even answering nothing. Who fasted 40 days and 40 nights? Mm -hmm. And another one? And another one? What did Elijah get? A cake was baked for him by an angel. And the Bible says he went on the strength of that food for 40 days and 40 nights. You, Tekwede, Okoro, you never ate a cake, not one day. So what are you doing? I'm on Elijah fasting. Did you see an angel? No, no. <laughs> Did you eat a cake? No. Was it Sana Abaja who died? I don't remember. Well, this president in, uh, in Nigeria died there. He was protected and the cameras at his house would see two kilometers, three kilometers away and soldiers everywhere. Died there. 
he was protected and the cameras in his house would see two kilometers, three kilometers away and soldiers everywhere. Combined. The demon of prophet is the most intelligent demon on earth. It doesn't manifest. All these demons of drinking, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an alcoholic. I want to come out, it's what here? Demon of poverty like, no, I'm not coming out. <laughs> Have you not seen that the poor people are the ones rolling on the floor with demons? Yes, there are some rich people who also have issues. But notice the poor people when they are delivered. Not one demon claims to be the demon of poverty. It will be in there sitting down like, uh, let the little boys go. And after all are gone, it will be the one answering now when the preacher says, are you free? You are free. He say, I'm free. He say, what are you talking? <laughs> Say so celebrate, you say I celebrate, I celebrate. It is the one talking. Because demons are very crazy. They use your vocal. <laughs> you understand in one scripture, it actually says the demon which was dumb. Possessed by a dumb demon, but the demon that was dumb. It seems as if it is the demon that is dumb, that doesn't like talking. So if you are possessed by a spirit that doesn't like communicating, it will grab your vocal cords. So you don't talk. If you are possessed by a demon that doesn't like money, every time you see a car, nice car, so why would I need a car like this? Why? Why? For what purpose? Why would you? Why? <laughs> yes, sometimes it is also because you just don't like it because you're not schooled in it. I had my time where I never understood why somebody would own a Lamborghini. Even with no kids, I was like, it's a two-seater. Where do I put the kids? Poverty will make you reason. I speak to you, you people, you just stay here. We are going to talk to these people. Poverty will give you all the information like, yeah, you need to reason like this, okay? Look at this. It doesn't make sense. What color is this? What color? Why would it be red? Meanwhile, no Honda Fit you have. Not one. I remember when Prophet is BB Angel, I said, I'm going to buy this Lamborghini or a Ferrari. She's like, no, it's not necessary. It's not this. It's not. Then she became pregnant. And she was told, you are pregnant. And then two weeks later, she was like, is it possible to, to get a Lamborghini? <laughs> I realize it is not here asking. It is now the pregnant asking. Yes, sir. So sometimes you have to be filled with something in you for you to understand what you need outside. So the thing is to fill you on the inside for it to begin to demand something that... Mm. <laughs> Sometimes... Imagine, imagine demons of poverty. Demons of poverty never tell you that we are here. And when demon of poverty enters, it never tells you the entrance. You can just be jealous getting in. Just sitting like this and go like, look at that, look at that car. Like, ah. <laughs> Don't know, not to beat a man,
thieves. How much money did you give in that church? One guy came, begged for an interview for, for a consultation with me. You know, like, like counseling. The white guy. Came early in the morning and said, I know I'm not from your church, but I just, I just want prophetic counseling. I, I need to leave my, leave my church. I love that church, but I am leaving it. I said, sit down, sir. I sit down. He said, look, my pastor steals money from us. I said, whoa. He steals money like real for real for real? He says, yes. I said, okay. How do you know this? He said, I've given a lot to him. But nothing really happened. So I'm thinking this guy is rich. <laughs> so he knows. You know, when you give somebody one million and then you see no building has been bought, you give again next following month. And I said, ah. So finally, I mustered the courage to say, like, how much do you give per week? He looked in there. Say, um, 10 quid, 10 pounds. I said, 10 pounds. Per week is what you give. I said, yes. I said, I'll talk to you later. I'm still planning. Poverty can kill you. One time I got 2.5 million. 2.5 million US. I one time, 1.7 million entered one time in the account. I took a photo and I was like this. For 1 million. Straight away, I flew to South Africa. Britain. South Africa, landed in South Africa, came back, came to Zimbabwe, went back to South Africa, went to Lanzaria Airport with some white guys that I knew, and we went there, and we saw a bomb bombardier challenger, and a, a, a jet, private jet, I'm telling you now, and they were trying to feel, configure it from 14, 13 seats to 12 seats, because I just wanted a little bit, and they were telling me, if you have more people, fuel cost more, so I said, yeah, just, I don't have a lot of people, so put it there. I'm looking at this. Wow. It's mine. And they put the papers. They're signing. Said, okay, we'll do the transfer tomorrow. We'll sign further papers. But it's now booked for you. Nobody will come and buy it. It's now yours. But now tomorrow we finish all the transaction and then you give us our... It was 1.7 million. As I was now coming out like this, they said, um, there is another citation, a small one, but it's an old one. You know, we can give you for 400, 500,000. It's nothing. It's not like it's an old, old, old thing. But you were just joined since it's, they were being sold together. I said, put that on the list. <laughs> now, <laughs> look, look at the jealousy you have. I'm, that's like, <laughs> so, now, we are now around... 2.2 million day and now remember I've got about 2.5 million in my account. Now I'm left with about 300,000 and then they said okay to do this and this and you need about then you need about 200,000. I said no no problem. Now I'm left with 100,000. I went to the to the um, to my hotel room uh, with prophetess when they're sitting there we just said look how God has blessed us. Now look at what we have. Two jets now. I went on the internet boom, to check the email that they were going to send with everything that was needed. I'm seeing 2.9. For what now? Who told me there is tax? <laughs> Who told me there were lending costs? Who told me about pilots? Who told me that there is operating price? Per hour, it will be eight thousand dollars. I was left with hundred thousand. Now I'm already on minus. They need another four hundred thousand, and this four hundred thousand will never get me a pilot. And it's just one pilot. There are two pilots needed, and you always have to have extra ones. So now I need eight. The man now is getting about 3.5 million. 
And the cost of a jet normally is the cost per year to fund it. So they called me in the morning. I said, we, we, we will be waiting for you at 11. I said, I'll come. I'll be, around, I'll, I'll be there around 10. And I'm still, I'm still trying to go. But <laughs> I'm planning. <laughs> I never called them. I never. Ne- call who? Answer where? On whose phone? I changed my number fast, fast. I'm on MTN. I was on Econet. That's when a fool has money. <laughs> we know what you think. If you are going to get two million today, ah, I know what you think. Say, I'll buy a house. I'll buy this. I'll buy that. I'll buy. That. Let's just give you one million like this. <laughs> Let me show you your face. Are you hearing? La recosando capero de zeno. Baracle solija terigosase. Proverbs 21, verse number 20. And I'm still coming back to First Timothy. Something. There is treasure to be desired. And oil in the dwelling of the wise. But a foolish man spendeth it up. This is where most people got the problem. A fool and his money are easily parted. I know you wanted the face for it. A fool doesn't understand money. The Bible says, if, you, if I give you unrighteous mammon, if you take unrighteous mammon and you can't handle it, who can give you pure riches? In other words, God uses money to measure your heart. So spiritual gifts themselves are given to people who can use money correctly. Because he says, for me to give you pure riches from heaven, I need to see how you manage your money. So most people tell me, ask me, men of God, how can I get a, you know, a spiritual gift? Show me your bank balance. I'll tell you why God has not entrusted you with a gift. If unrighteous things can be easily spent. There are people here who play lottery every day. It is the taxation of mathematically challenged people. You are being taxed daily. If you calculate the money you spent on all this lottery, you realize one thing. You are foolish. You are just hoping, no, it will happen to me. The statistics, one in 50 million. Yeah, I'll be that one. Ah, It's no longer faith, it's stupidity. It will happen to me. I know, I know, I'll play. One day I'll just get the real numbers. Let me prophesy to you. It's not happening. <laughs> Let's go back to First Timothy chapter number four. I'm about to go. <laughs> Forbidding what? To marry. So churches that are molested by demons will forbid marriages. Abstain from meat. Which God created. Now, verse number four is what I like. For every creature of God is good. Nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. Hear this. So what are we going to preach? Hear this. What are we going to preach? Marriages, wedding parties, after party. Feasts, meats, foods, So the Bible says there are churches that will go against this. It says anyone who preaches against marriages and meets is molested by demons. Is following the teachings of 
demons, devils, they are Conscience fried, speaking a lie in hypocrisy, who has ran away from the faith. Any preacher who says we should not preach about prosperity has brains fried. Isn't it amazing how preachers will tell you don't preach about prosperity and they're holding a mic that was bought by money and they have a pulpit that was bought in a building that... It's because in their stupid brain, they are trying to figure out what prosperity means. Do you understand if I enter into Bill Gates' house, he will take me for a very poor guy. Okay, I know, I know you are being spiritual. <laughs> if Bill Gates comes here, stands there, not Bill Gates, Elon Musk. Bill Gates, ah, the gates of hell will not prevail. <laughs> Elon Musk stands here. Your favorite prophet stands here. And I said, no, everyone... Line up. I want to give you the blessing from God. And Elon Musk said, I want to give you one million each. Please don't answer me. Where would you go? Don't answer, please. Don't go. You see, you're not born again. You see that, right? You'll be like, no, no, I'll get the million, then, then get the blessing later. You know, God will forgive me. It's okay. But if I get the blessing, I might, not, I might miss the one million. Someone says, I'll take the million and sow a seed. No, God didn't say that. <laughs> one prophet in Ghana, all right? One prophet in Ghana in Accra went to Nigeria. And he's ministering there. And the governor in Nigeria, who is a billionaire, was in there. He's a friend of his. And he's sitting there. And the man is preaching. And his preaching is moving there. Praying for people. Praying for people. And prophesying deep stuff. And the guy is really shocked. And then he stands up. He says, can I, can I talk to you? He whispered to the prophet. He said, I'm more powerful than you. Because <laughs> they are friends. He says, what do you mean? I'm more powerful than me. He says, you pray for them. You see people won't fall, but they will fall for me. He says, no. He started praying for people. And people are falling. One, two, falling. Five, don't fall. Two, fall. The guy went out and said, I'm coming back. He came back with a bag, $10,000 each. Every time he gave someone, he fell down. $10,000. $10,000. That's a demonstration of power. You are playing with money. Money is so strong that God himself called it his competitor. He yes. said, you can't save money and me. You cannot save two masters. God called money a master and called himself a master. God has never competed with a God. He has never vocalized that this God is a competitor. Only money. He said, this for this one. You can't save two masters at the same time. You see, they use money to save me. Money is a spirit. You give it in the hands of a robber, you buy a crowbar. <laughs> give it in the hands of somebody who is actually doing good, charity everywhere. What? It takes the spirit of his owner. It is connected to the owner. Money is tricky. Do you realize Jesus himself never even asked the prostitute, where did you get the money you are giving me on oil? Perfume that was worth over 365 days. Almost 200 days. Imagine perfume. And Jesus takes it. It happened for me, for me in, 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 in Manchester. And I was in front there after preaching. And a man came staggering the front just like... And I was like, this guy, you know when you start looking at your protocols there, they... Realizing things are about to change here. You <laughs> know the protocol are just there. These guys are just there to go like this. <laughs> Something bad happens, they'll be like. I saw. Remember, remember. Remember Mutare? The pastors ran and went behind the speakers. One little girl beating them up demonic oppression. I was left alone like this. Everyone protocol being beaten by a little girl. I, 
I pointed at the lady and it just went like this. Flew. And I grabbed the mic and said, now you know who protects who. My protocol or me? I'm protocoling my protocol. <laughs> so as I was preaching, this guy staggered to the front. He says, I uh, say, um, can I talk to you? I'm like, you can talk from there. I don't know how much it was, maybe 7,000. I don't remember what it was, 7,000 pounds or something. I don't remember the amount, the actual amount. Because she, yeah, 7,000 pounds. So I've got 7,000 pounds. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm a drug dealer. But I want to stop everything now. And I've brought my money that I got from drugs, this 7,000. Do you think God will receive it? I said, yes, sir. He looked at me surprised. I said, yeah, money does not do drugs. You did drugs. Money is not guilty. <laughs> let's read vision. Uh, this. For every Christian of God is good. Now, let's go five. I want you to see. For it is sanctified by the word of God. Now here, listen carefully. We preach what? Marriages, feasts, meats. Mm, let's go. If you put the brethren in, or the sister, the brethren in remembrance of what? Which things? What are you? You are a good minister of Jesus Christ. Now the church has gotten it wrong. Preach again and sin, then you are a good minister. The Bible says preach about marriages, preach about food, preach about feast, and you are a good minister of Jesus. Nourished up in the words of faith. What are the words of faith? Marriages to everyone. Yeah. Drought is cancelled in the name of Jesus. And what are you preaching? Good doctrine. And what have you attained? You have attained a certain level in God. <laughs> Preach about money. They will say you are an evil man. Paul says no. If you preach about marriages and feasts, don't worry. You are a good minister of Jesus Christ. So what is, what is a good minister? The money is coming. The money is coming. The money is coming. Sit down. You know the Pharisees used to, the far to see. And said, you see, said, you see. He used to move around with Jesus, just following him everywhere. That's exactly what happens with these people. They'll be like, yeah, you see, yesterday he was preaching this. This guy is evil. He's a fake prophet. As if he's going to hate me. Like, wow. They called me fake today. Wow. Oh. I'm so much in pain. <laughs> they really don't know me. I don't give a toss. <laughs> I'm busy succeeding. I, have not, I don't even think about you. There is nothing. Listen, I'm enjoying my life. I don't know about you, but I'm excited every time. Every time I wake up, like the lion is up. Ah. I am struggling every day. God, can't you see me? I mean, I'm married here. Thank God. Now just imagine, I've told you this and I have to repeat it. You work 20, you have a 24 hour day. You work how many hours? Eight hours. Now you're left with what? Skistin. Then you go to work two hours to prepare, one, one hour to prepare, one hour to go. If you bath quickly. <laughs> and if you're a makeup person, that's a whole one hour. Now that means you spend four hours. Go to work. Come back. Now you're on 12 hours. 
you are left with 12 hours. You sleep how many? Eight hours. You are left with four hours. If you take your children to school, maybe you are going to use one hour. Now you are left with three hours. That simply means one thing. Your boss owns your wife. I know you are not even. I, I need you to get in. Okay, let me, let me try to... Now this is uh, too many women here. Just imagine, your wife is only available for you for three hours. That's it, the whole day. Yes, she might sleep next to you. But you know when she's sleeping, she's not yours. Because we don't know what's happening in the brain there. Whatever dream she's having, that's what controls her. So you only have four hours with your wife. Do you know those four hours are the only ones you have? Yet the Bible says we are the lions because we are children of the lion of Judah. Let me tell you something about lions. Lions sleep for 20 hours, preserving energy for the four hours that matter for hunting. And we are called lions because we are children of a lion. Yet we work 20 hours and they have four hours rest. And the lion has 20 hours sleep and four hours to hunt. You are a nine to five person. Imagine nine to five. It's a pain. Let's go. Because we, we need to quickly finish because I'm, yeah, I'm finished. Give me four minutes. If you put the brethren in remembrance of these things, like I'm doing now, you shall be a good minister of Jesus Christ. First number seven. But refuse profane and old wives' fables. People who just like talk, yep, yep, talk, talk, talk. And old men's fables. And old what? The Bible was very clear. It knows what's happening. Now, any time you see a woman in the Bible, the biggest thing that the Bible mentions is talking. I'm telling you, start from Genesis. Adam was easy like this in the garden. The snake knew the target. If I go to Adam, you will not talk. Went to Eve immediately. And I've told you, like the brother is saying, I've told you, Eve was not black. She definitely was white. No black person will speak to a snake. No one. I saw one, one, one skit from someone, and this is a school thing where this guy went to a school, and, and the teacher was saying, your child is not supposed, you failed everything, failed everything. said, what was the lesson about? said, we asked her, name all domestic animals. He said, she said, snake and crocodile. And the mother is like, yeah, yeah, we have crocodiles. <laughs> she was a witch. <laughs> so according to the child, this is a domestic animal. <laughs> and the teacher doesn't understand that snakes and... <laughs> snakes, hyenas, crocodile, domestic animals. Let's go. Ours, yeah. But refuse prophet talk, old wives' fables. Exercise thyself rather unto godliness. See, when we ever we see godliness, we see holiness. Do you understand holiness has nothing to do with you being clean? All right. All right. This is now the good news we are about to unload. Listen, I'm about to finish. I told you four minutes, now three minutes. Now listen, listen. In the temple, there were holy utensils. You mean to say they were not going to the pub? <laughs> there were materials that were holy. They, they didn't go to the pub? They didn't gossip? No. The word holy means separated. It is not a... Let me explain to you something. 
Do you know Jehovah Rapha? In your head, just write that head right there. there, there. I know it. You think it's a, it's, a, it's a spiritual word. No. If you stand like this in Israel, I will call this Rafa. Rafa means doctor. Wow. The word apostle is not a holy word. It's not a spiritual word. It means the captain in a ship. It's a normal word. The word church itself is not from heaven. It is the word ekkaleo, where we get the word ecclesia. It simply means people who are selected in a political system to decide matters on food distribution, water distribution, resource distribution. That's it, policy making. That's what it means. There's nothing to do with praying in, in tongues. So when God called you a church, he wasn't expecting you to go like, No! He was expecting you to control nations. To begin to go policy. To know who is going to be leader where. Who is going to be mayor. But you are too broke. So all you're thinking about is fasting. I'm doing 20 day fasting. What is you doing 20 day fasting? Somebody in town day is looking for resources to make money. When you finish your fast, you find them with a BM. When you finish your fast, you find them with a Mercedes Benz. When you finish fast, now they have a mansion. Ha! Ah, they are stealing money. No! They are working. You are fasting to change the mind of God. In no way in the Bible can you change the mind of God with your fasting. How can you being hungry change God? God is going to look at you and be like, ah, my son is so hungry. Wow. Give him a Mercedes Benz. This type of hunger requires a Ferrari. Something is out here. They are not connecting. I speak to somebody here. I see you with prosperity. I see you reach beyond reasonable doubt. I see you taking over. I see you never going down. <laughs> Brother Winston sent one of his guys and said, go into town and just... Bring me a report about the buildings there. The man went and brought a report about one building. He said, here's the... He said, oh, what about the others? He said, uh, you, you want which others? He said, man, I send you because I'm, I'm negotiating to buy the whole town. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Let me give you again this because you might miss it. Turn to someone next to you. I know you're about to go. Just, just for, I wanted to say something that I should never say. Just for interest's sake. Where are you trying to rush to? <laughs> to that one bedroom of yours. Where if you want to change the side you are sleeping, you come out and come back with the right one. Yet the blessings are being dished out right this minute. <laughs> so, men of God, how do I become rich? It is very easy. And I'm going to tell you something that you want it to be spiritual. But it's not going to be spiritual the way you think spiritual is. Right now, I've told you the word church is not coming from heaven. It is just a language. Money. Tell your neighbor because you might not hear it. Money. Only is a result. It's only a result of resources being exchanged. If you have nothing, call the resource. You are, you are giving out. If you have no service, you, no service. 
You are providing. You should not receive money. So see, see, it's like right now, it's like I've told them something that should not be real. Why should we give you money? For what? What have you done? Money is a very difficult thing. It is not emotional. It is emotional. It doesn't respond because you are angry. Even if you cry, man will not come. I don't have money. Man will not say, ah, let's go. <laughs> Turn to someone in the next day and say, money is not emotional. It is emotional. Man is not emotional. It is emotional. Money goes, listen to this. You see, people didn't get it. You know, in Zimbabwe, there's a problem when you minister from this section and when I minister from Britain, when I minister from America, it's, it's received differently. Depending on the upbringing, there were things we were told. In fact, it is the problem of preachers. You know, I'm going to do this over and over and over again until you get it. Is Pastor Bevan there? Can you, can you load up the Leopold letter to the Africans? So that you, you, you keep getting it in your heads. Where you got left out in prosperity. That's why everyone argues. Even if you put this clip here on the internet right now, look on the comments. Oh, this one is a fake preacher. It's a fake person. Mm, mm. While well, they're taking your clip so that they can make money on YouTube. So they are allowed to make money using my name. I'm not allowed to make money using my own name. And it is an arrogant mind that says, I know everything. I know Selman is wrong. Angel is wrong. Solomon is wrong. Pastor Chris is wrong. Oh, yeah, Depo is wrong. This one is wrong. Angel is wrong. This one is wrong. I'm the only one with a blog who knows everything that is okay. I know I've never healed a fly even if it had a toothache. <laughs> but I'm right. Even if the Holy Ghost moves down the street with a red head on, they won't recognize him. I'll be like, yes, I'm sitting, just sitting like this. Like, yes, watch this. I want to show you why they're wrong. How many people have you healed? No one, but I know. Hey, do you have it? I don't know whether it's going to appear there, but if it's not going to appear there, thank God. Are you trying to make it appear there? That's a very good idea. Hear this now. Imagine, yeah, I think something is about to happen. Don't you think so? It's about to happen. Uh oh. It almost. Can we see? I think it can, it, can, it can be bigger than that. The way I think. Media, 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 media. They can do this. Oh, no, all this is not working. Let's just read it. Oh, my God. And in the beginning was light. Reverence, fathers, dear compatriots, the task that is given to fulfill is very delicate and requires much tact. This is King Leopold II of Belgium to colonial missionaries to come here to Africa to tell you what to do with the gospel. You will go certainly to evangelize, but your evangelization must inspire above all Belgian interests. Your principal objective in our mission in the Congo is never to teach the niggers to know God. This they know already. So you don't know why you act like this when you hear money. <laughs> Reverence fathers, dear combatants, the task that is fulfilled very delicate requires much tact, right? Then it says, they speak and submit to a mungu, one in Zambi, Nzakomba, Mari, Unkulumkulu. And what else I don't know. 
They know that to kill, to sleep with someone else's wife, to lie, to insult his bed. Have courage to admit it. You are not going to teach them what they already know. Your essential role is to facilitate the task of administrators and, and industrials. Uh, which means you will go to interpret the gospel in the way it will be to protect your interests in that part of the world. For these things, you have to keep watch on disinterested savages. That's you. Disinteresting our savages. From the richness that is planted in the underground. To avoid that, they get interested in it and make you murderous. Competition. And dream one day to overthrow you. Your knowledge of the gospel will allow you to find texts ordering and encouraging your followers to love poverty. Like happier are the poor because they will inherit the heavens. This is what Africans was, were fed. And it's very difficult for the rich to enter the kingdom of God. This is what you should tell them. And that thing is still in you. <laughs> you might be here with me right now, but that's what you're thinking. Anyone is right now to say, oh, there's a guy who has got five jets. You'll be like, no, 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 that's too much. You know that? No, no, that's too much. Let's be real here. This is too much. Real to who? Has he taken any of your money? <laughs> yeah, they're stealing money. They're stealing. If they stop stealing, will you even get the money that they are? Because you are looking for something to give as an excuse for your not rising. I don't know if you're getting this. I was very clever. I came into this country thinking, these guys are all thieves. I was like you. I thought every politician is a liar and a thief. Of course there are some who are thieves. Then when I sat in there with all my questions, and we had some guys here, it was there, and some other guys in front here were there, and we're sitting in there asking questions, meeting everyone from all these departments, proving to us with real numbers. Not some, some messed up numbers. No, real things that have changed. Real things that have moved. I said, I ended up saying, I, I said, if a lion does not have a storyteller, the story of the hunt will belong to the hunter. So a lion needs a storyteller. Because what was happening and what is now happening, I was like, wait a minute, why is there no one telling this change here? You see? Your mind will also come in the same way. Everyone is stealing from us. You have to detach them. Listen, you have to detach them and make them disrespect everything which gives courage to affront us. I make reference to their mystic system and their war fetish, warfare protection, which they pretend not to want to abandon. Your action will be directed essentially to the younger ones, for they won't revolt when the recommendation of the priest is contrary to their parents' teachings. You can keep on going. You can remove it. You find it. Happy are those who are weeping because the kingdom of God is for them. You will find many books which will be given to you at the end of this conference. Evangelize the niggers so that they stay forever in submission to the white colonialists. So they never revolt against the restraints they are undergoing. <laughs> remove it. See, it has gone deep into the fabric of the black communities that one day I went to South Africa and also as I was in the queue in South Africa, are you getting this? As I was in the queue in South Africa like this and I went in, and I just stood in the queue like this. The black lady who was saving us saved the white person behind me. It's now inside. It's reverse racism. It's inferiority complex. Have you ever seen all the footballers when they get money, the black footballers? They abandon black sisters. White meat. And they'll be there and like, yeah. That one guy married a white person, even moved in 
with the mother-in-law. The mother is in Nigeria. His own mother. Has never visited the son. And the mother-in-law is in the house. Same house. Inferiority complex has gotten in. So the white people now have become special. Do you see my... Yeah, she's white, yeah. <laughs> I have no problem with you marrying a white person. If you want white, polka dot, pink, whatever you like. The reality is, it is because of inferiority complex. And white people have actually known it. They know it. They know you have it. Have you ever spoken to a white person? You can see the confidence they have. They're already in their heads. Also, they already think you're under them. All came from there. So when we look at scriptures, we are looking at scriptures that tell us it's bad to be rich. And where do we find them? Old Testament. In the same Old Testament, let me give you some truth. Not one verse will you ever find God being friends with a poor person, except in a parable. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Done. Says there was a poor man who stayed there outside the rich man's gate. That's it. only in a story. Never in real life. He would meet you broke and make you rich. I speak to somebody here. This very year, we will cut the ribbon to your house. And some of you are hearing me now and you are taking time to get this. Oh, when will you stop preaching about money? You are promising people. I'm not promising anything. I'm just telling you to have enough faith to take what you need to take. Sit down, I'm about to go. I'm about to go. I'm about to go. Do you know how it is when you get into a certain location? I was at the seven, seven, seven Star Hotel in Dubai. What did I go with? Yeah. Seven Star Hotel there. And they, yeah, yeah, Pastor Bevan there and another team. I think they are like $10,000 a night. You just go like. Ten is gone. <laughs> I don't know how many days we did. I think we did about seven days. And we had three families. So while we finished, we, we, you, know, you just get into the hotel. You get in there and they come to you to check in when you're already in your hotel room. Not at the reception. Again, they, they did everything. And now you're talking about that amount. Of course, we then got a, a discount a little bit. But, you know, it's never 50%. And they got discount. So we have three families in there. So we're supposed to pay like $30,000 a, a night with other rich guys there. And then these guys now, they reduce the price. But it wasn't much. Maybe $7,000 a, a night. Now you're on $21,000 so sort of a night to pay for those three family rooms. And we said, guys, I said, uh, let's go eat. We came out. We went. And we sat down, and this chef is spinning things. <laughs> you you got to do something when people are paying like that. You don't just say, yeah, it's this egg. No, the egg has to spin. <laughs> I'm telling you the higher life now. <laughs> so I'm, I'm the leader of these guys, you know. And everyone will like, prophet, prophet. You say, 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 say. Mm. So, so all of these are moving. I can't be moving behind. I'm the boss. I'm the one who just paid. So moving out like this. We finish eating. We're going out. Ah, security. You haven't paid. I say, hey, to win 1,000, I need to pay for food. What are you talking about?
Just imagine you are paying $10,000 a night to take the best room there and it's only for sleeping. No food, no breakfast, nothing. And everyone is like, yeah, but we, we paid. He said, no, you did not pay. This hotel has other restaurants down here. You chose the restaurant you like to. Now just imagine. Immediately you begin to question yourself. What are you doing there? <laughs> but there are some things you have to experience in order to understand a certain level you are at. Otherwise you never move to higher degrees. I couldn't understand for years. I couldn't. I never even went to Victoria Falls. Never understood why, why I needed it. Just see water going like. For what purpose? I took my father to Dubai. And you know, my father was old. Now like an old guy in the sense of backdated. <laughs> he said there. With my mother at the beach. It was a little bit early. Then we stayed there maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And white people started moving. With bikinis, we were like, ah, Prophet, what is this? <laughs> How do, what, what do I tell my father? I was like, what, are you, what do you mean? <laughs> so, ah, 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 ah. These people are crazy. <laughs> I can't tell him, let's go. <laughs> Now just imagine you are experiencing something for the first time and the world is crazy to your head. You know you will never have enough faith to attain that until somebody pushes you into that mode and all of a sudden, listen, all of a sudden, this thing seems to be okay for you. You know, there are people you put, you know, the spirit you have here is elastic. Once it experiences something, it expands and it can't come back. That's why people who become rich are very difficult to convince to become poor. Because their spirits now have enough room to fill Toyotas and tractors and, and Lamborghinis and, and all kinds of sorts. Now, if your spirit is like this, you eat. If your stomach is like this, you eat two things, three things and it's full. Then you start wondering, why, why do people eat this much? A stomach is also elastic. Amen. If you, it keeps on growing. Uh -huh. That's why people who can have a problem with overweight is because of one thing. The stomach is like this. Uh -huh. So they need to feel it to feel like they are full. Yeah. That's why when they do what they are called, they call that balloon thing that they do to, you know, the, to lower your weight, they put something that makes your stomach small. So that when you eat, you feel like I'm full now. So you don't need to eat anymore. Because the stomach is elastic. Same thing with your spirit. It's like this. The moment you teach it new things. The moment it experiences new things. The moment you are in that expensive hotel. That's why I tell people. I went to a place in, in Manchester. There one of the millionaires was there. He said, Angel, do you want to be a multi-millionaire? I said, I want to be a multi-millionaire. He said, go and buy a Mercedes. I said, <laughs> I was thinking exactly that. How do I buy a Mercedes Benz when I don't have money? He said, when you buy a Mercedes Benz, call me. Finally, we got a Mercedes Benz. I called him. He said, yeah, we have a Mercedes Benz. He said, come to me. I went to, his, he had just visited Manchester. I went there to meet him. He said, now, I'm going to call you where we meet as rich people. I said, you have a place where you meet. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I never heard such things. I went there. Amen. I stood there. The guy's like, ah, where's your car? It was an A class. <laughs> he said, no, I mean a real Benz, not a Benz. <laughs> I said, you just said Mercedes Benz. So this is a Mercedes Benz. I need a real one, E class, whatever. When I got it, I went back. He said, now, pack it here. Let's move around. And everyone was like, so what do you do? 
He said, he told me, he said, don't say nothing if you don't know what you're doing. Just say logistics. <laughs> so I said, what do you do? I said, logistics. <laughs> logistics in what area? I said, in everything. We are in, we have our, our, some of our departments are into shipping. Other departments are into. <laughs> and rich people are looking for connections from other rich people. Now you are sitting there and thinking, I'll just be rich. I'll get someone to just come to me and marry me. Yeah. Rich people now are looking for rich women. Yeah. Rich ladies are looking for rich men. Yeah. Are you getting this or are you not getting it? I'll just get married to the right one. I know. I know. God, don't forget me. One lady came to me and said, Prophet, I just want a beautiful, a, a handsome guy, a high value man. I said, Tell me, God needs you to be specific. He said, I want somebody who is just tall, light, nice hair, and a good dancer. I said, Forget it. Michael Jackson is dead. You are looking for something you never experienced. This is the reason why you are broke. Experience a higher life. Begin to push, your, begin to push yourself into higher life. What do I do it? I know it's not right for a preacher to say this according to other preachers. But fake it till you make it. And let me change it. Faith it till you make it. Care where you buy clothes, maybe a bear, whatever it is. What you need to do is get there in that sack, look for the best that is in there, iron it nicely. So, there is a big difference between fashion and being stylish. Being a stylish person does not cost money, being fashionable will cost you. There's some people here who are wearing Gucci. You don't listen to me. Listen to me. Let me give you this. It's not a scripture, but keep it. In the words of Jay-Z. If you can't afford to buy a thing twice, you can't afford it. Don't buy a Lamborghini if you can't buy it twice. Don't have a Mercedes if you don't have another amount like that. That you can keep in the bank. You are a broke man trying to impress people who don't like you. And they never get impressed. That's why you fight a preacher for a car. Yeah. Wow. He's using people's money. Have you gone to his accounts? And really seen that he's using someone's money. And if he's using someone's money, who started the church? <laughs> Whose money was he starting it with? You were not there. His own. Okay. How can he steal money from his own church? I can't steal money from this church. I will take it. <laughs> Why would I steal money from this? The reason why I don't take money from these churches, there is nothing left for us to take. Who will count the offering for you all to see today? You will feel sorry for me. That's when you realize it's not what people think. Tomorrow, listen to me carefully. Tomorrow, when you wake up, take the best you can put on. Go into town. Find the best hotel. It might be Rainbow Towers, the former Sheraton. Get in there. Find the best seat. Cross your legs. Take the best photo you can take there. What will I drink? Don't say Fanta. No. Dakari. Just put something with some colors. It's not even expensive. Take the nice photo there. And make sure you have a jacket. Remove it. Take another photo in another angle. 
Now you are experiencing life. The person who sees you next time there, do you understand the foyer of a hotel? Nobody is prevented from sitting there. In Manchester, remember, Dean's Get Road? He's the pastor there. Dean's Get Road. There's a road called Dean's Get. If you stand from here, you, st you look over like that, you see all the runes playing there. And nobody crosses there. Not because they are prevented. No say. No ma'am. I told my, asked my church one time, we were about 400, right? 400, but, but in that service, we were over 100, just almost 200. I said, who has ever been on the other side of Dean's Gate? Everyone was like this. I said, let's get out. We are not preaching. We are going there. Ha! Huh? Everyone's like, what do you mean? We don't know this today. I said, no, no face. Why didn't you cross? I said, ah, it's too expensive, that side. <laughs> so they never gone there. So I crossed with all my almost 200 members. We crossed. Everyone was like, who is this? I crossed. I went to this shop and I bought them perfumes, each and every one of them. Perfume, perfume, perfume. Listen, it's not going to happen today. But anyway. <laughs> I, could, I could feel it in the spirit. In fact, let's do it. Ah. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Is there any shop open? Ah, it's closed, it's closed. It's Closed, it's closed. It's closed. Everything, everything is closed. Anakazo. <laughs> but just imagine. Imagine. One time we took some passes to Harrods. Harrods is the most expensive shop in the world. It's a demarcado store. When they Moving like this, we got to the entrance. He said, Oh, can the pastor is watching now? Remain standing there outside. I said, what's, what's happening? He said, Are we are we also allowed in there? So some of it is your experience. You have not experienced that life. So since you have not tested it, you think it's evil. Something in you has a guilty conscience. I see stupid arguments every time a politician one, once came out with a, this big car. I think it's a, it's a Rolls Royce. Everyone like, yeah, people are struggling. They're struggling. And this guy is buying this car in a society with poverty. He should be considerate. See? The poor man thinks you should be considerate. But the poor man who doesn't want to be poor wants to understand how did you do it? Oh, they steal. Oh, so you know the strategy. Steal also. Because we know you are an adulterer, a liar, a thief already. So why would you be afraid to steal like him? Let me tell you something. I suffer daily from these fools who oppose me consistently so that you don't have to suffer. This year, we're going to have people Listen, listen to me. Even this church we're talking about. People standing here giving one dollar, one dollar. Trust me. We're going to have a crowd of violent givers. The Bible says, since the time of John, the violent take it by force. Notice, people didn't get it. That means for you to be broke, there was violence given to you. There were some demonic violence that came to you. Demonic ones that are so violent. Demons that are so violent took your money. My God, my God, yeah. my God, my God. Said so if you do not listen, listen to this man. It is in the Bible. 
If you do not listen to this, I believe it is Exodus. He says, if you do not listen to my statutes, these cases shall come upon you. Yes, sir. He says, you shall marry a wife and another one will sleep with her. Amen. You say, why is, why is my wife committing adultery? Bible says, because you didn't listen to the you shall build a house and another person will live in it. You're sitting there complaining. I don't have money. I don't have money. Have you learned the style of money that you want? Have you lived even a day? Have you entered a certain area and go like, I don't need to. Huh? I remember one day, God just spoke to me. 43,000 feet above sea level. God told me, go and make my people rich. I thought it was spiritual. I was coming to Africa. I said, which? I said, riches. That's when I knew I had the power for miracle money. He said, go and make my people rich. And when I came here, I started for the whole full year. I had problems with people who were arguing that we should be poor. Imagine a grown man advocating for poverty. Yet complaining about politicians. That they should leave their office because I think they are stealing money. But you said you don't want to be rich. The contradiction is crazy. One day, are you here? One day, I, I told my wife, it's very difficult. These people just spend money everywhere buying cars like this. Big cars, big cars, big houses. These preachers. <sighs> I was not even a preacher. One day, I'm sleeping in my room. I read only one scripture. He owns a kettle on a thousand heroes. One scripture. I left my bed. I said, my God owns a kettle on a thousand years. You know, you know, these are scriptures that are deep, that are nonsense in the sense of a of a novice, like this nonsense. You can't push anyone. I was like, so which thousand years is he talking about? All the years? I would just read count one, two, three thousand. Then one to any any. And he owns and he's my father. And I'm sleeping. In this place, in the previous night, my car, I woke up and my car was written, get out of this country, nigger. I was the only black person living in that community of white people. And I went to the police, they put a camera and it was there. The camera was focusing on my car. No church, nothing. I was just a church member. In a church called New Harvest Christian Church. And it was right there written. And we put a camera, the police put a camera, and I noticed that is my neighbor. White guy. Called the police. I said, yeah. It recorded. They came. They looked at it. It was really my neighbor. They said, they can't see. It's blurry. <laughs> and I realized also the police were also racist. I'm sitting there. And I remember one time, I said, my, my son was so little. I said, we will, we will change this thing. And we started a small company there. No church whatsoever. And the, from my house to, the, to town, it was like two kilometers or so. And I drove out of that place with UJ. Drove out, went around. When we got to that, to the place like, you know, just behind our neighborhood, we realized the road from that location to town would take three, uh, three, three kilometers. So I said, now. Let me go back. I said, you know what? I saw a nice house for us. But we don't have that kind of money. There's no church. There's no nobody. I'm not even preaching online. There is nothing. We have not even started a church. I said, now. From now onwards, you, if you are driving this car, and if I'm driving this car, we go three kilometers now. We go through that same location and see the nice houses. Yeah. Let's fill our eyes with beauty so that what is in us will begin to cry for better things guess what every time every time one day 
I went there at night and I found this sign written for sale. I left it. The afternoon, I came for sale. And I remember taking soil. I came out, took soil, and I saw the white guy come out of his house. And I'm collecting soil in front of his garden. <laughs> I picked the soil and said, I call you into my family in the name of Jesus. The guy came out and said, how, how are you? Uh, I said, can I help you? You know, white people act like they don't care. They don't know you. Like, can I help you? They, they, actually, they are saying, what are you doing there? I said, can I help you? I said, no, 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 it's my house. I said, oh, you are the landlord. I said, yes, yes. What do you want me to say? I'm not a landlord. I'm just collecting soil. I'm doing conversion, utterance, using your garden. So when I realized he's actually renting there, and he's like, oh, you're the landlord? I said, yes. I went home. Following day, I came back. I called the, the agent, and the agent said, no, we can't give you the name of the... We wanted the name of the owner of the house. I said, no, we can't give you that. It's not possible to give you that term, that, um, you know, those details we can't give you. I said, no problem. At night, I went there. Don't do this. <laughs> so I was just going with my son every day and staying, coming out and taking soil. And UJ was just like, you know, he's too young to know what is happening. At night, I went, opened the boot of my car, stole that sign, <laughs> put it in my car. Left with it. Why would you say for sale my house? For sale. <laughs> I called the owner. I called the owner, the, the, the agent again. The agent said, no, we can't give you anything. I said, okay, send the price of the house in our inbox. Guess what he did? He sent the names and the numbers of the real owner. We called him. Ah, <laughs> it didn't take two or three weeks. We were in there. Listen to this. Listen to this. It had a big window. I'm talking about from there to there. Not even with these panels. Just an open window. And I bought a chair. Just a chair. I stayed there for a year. I bought a chair and sat there looking outside. Because across the road, there was big farm. So I'm now just sitting there. Every day I'll just get there and sit and look towards the farm. Looking at the farm. Calling it into my family. Now I knew this calling works. I called it into my family. What am I doing? I'm acclimatizing my spirit to a new experience where I'm going. Your problem is you never change the circle of your friends. Turn to your neighbor and say, if you have four broke friends, you are definitely going to be the fifth. I kept on moving. If in your circle, you are the one they borrow money from, look for new friends. There's no advantage in that group. So I kept on moving, kept on moving, kept on moving, kept on moving. Before you knew it, I was now at this farm, owning this farm, behind it, whole farm. From there moved again, another farm. And we are not talking about Chabalala. No. United Kingdom. And I'll be the only black person in the neighborhood. The whole neighborhood. Millions of people. Hundreds of thousands. The only black person. In one place I was on, in his town. He was the only black man. Him. When I joined him in UK, we were the only black people. And you meet with everyone black. And because they are used to black people so black. Imagine, that's all they knew. What had happened? We changed our brains for what we wanted. Amen. Do you remember that more beautiful lady that used to be in the high school? Remember the, the beautiful, beautiful lady? Have you seen her lately? It's exposure that told you she was beautiful. You had no exposure. That most handsome guy in high school you met him lately. Oh, Hans Zapera. No. It's not that he's finished though. No. Your eyes cleared. Now you can see now. Now all of a sudden. You'll be like, whoa. What were we looking for in this person? 
That's why I encourage these preachers to marry for their future. You end up taking the choir leader. Let me go here. It's very painful. There is a lot of... Marry for your future. Find a woman who will still be compatible 20 years from now. And you say, every time now, get into any shop. Find the best you can do. I know this, these principles I'm giving you today, they just look like nothing. Get to a certain location where quality becomes something you demand for yourself. Are you getting this? What do you do? Stand up. This is a medical doctor in UK. Exactly. You demand what you need for yourself. You know your future. Do you get, do you get the point? Do you get the point? Yes, sir. So, somebody like this can think, I need to do this, train here, go here, go here. But for him to get to this, he didn't just wake up from some, some house in Gulumani. He was like, yeah, I'm going to be a doctor. You should see nurses. You should see medicine. You should see programs on TV. Something should change you somewhere. That's it. What triggered you to be a doctor? I, I saw one of the rich guys living in Borodil. He's got two, two floor houses. And he was, a, he was a doctor? He was a doctor. Do you see? The changing thing was he saw a person who was a doctor with two floors. He said, no, no, no. I need this. So I need to do what he's doing. Your problem is you still with your friend. Sarah. Thank you. That Richard, friend of yours. What is he doing? I'm just a hustler. <laughs> what does he do? Ah, it's boys, boys. Ah, come on. What do you think you're going to be? Find new friends, people who inspire you. Somebody who can make the baby in you leap. That's what you're looking for. Let's all stand up around the world. Raise your hands with us. Begin to pray wherever you are. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. We are getting into another mode now. Jebrekia kanto zapa yito kola praktoze Lebrekita zaka badia ze Lebrekato zate libre ete zika bahade Mapako dia kate libre kete zika bahade Manda kala bahade Jebrekete liga bahade Lebavakata zika bahade Manta zika lada bahade Mapako dia zo Jebrekete liga bahade Manta kala broshate Erada badia zo Jebrekata liga Palado, <laughs> Mante repetia sate, je brekete lika bahati. Mante lika bahati, rapa pasato, je brekete lika bahati. Mante kari babaya, rapa sate lika bahade. Rapoza, rapoza, ripoza, rapoza. Now, there is a certain move. A certain move 
Come closer. Hold the mic. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Raski tone. Hey, you stay. Come here. Come here. When did these things start moving in you? I think 15 years ago. 15 years ago. Imagine feeling something moving like a snake. And it goes to your back, it goes to your head, it comes back. It's like a snake. It's like a worm. Then sometimes it is like a little thing. Then sometimes it goes like big. Yes, that's true. Do we have pastors in this place who understands when I'm ministering? In the mighty name of Jesus. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Right this minute. Yes. 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 It ends right this minute. It ends right this minute. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, man of God. I'm free. Razukes Keta. Where do you come from? Where do you come from? I was born in Zimbabwe, but originally you're from Zambia. You're originally from Zambia? Yes, prophet. Where is your wife? She's my fiance. Where is, where is she? She's at home in Kwazana. Ah. No, 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 no. You're, you're, you're mixing two things. Okay. Who is staying with her in Kwazana? The grandmother. But, but what's, what's, what's this thing? And let me whisper to you. Well, it's you're here. You, no, 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 stay there. So I whisper and you can hear. Eh? You want to marry her? Yes, Father. Do you know him? Yes, I know him. My friend from my. You know he, he has a calling upon his life. This young man. Yes, I do. Do you understand? Yes. But where did he get the woman? <laughs> we, met, we met in the son's church. Listen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> did you consult him? We met years and after. And did you consult him? No. What he thinks? No. Uh, no. You're a very bad friend. Huh? Prophet, can I explain something? Explain something. Yes. Uh, when he found out about me, he was in high school. He was my friend, but he was also bullying me. <laughs> in the high school. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he has always think that he's so he's always thought he's bigger than yes. you. So you can't explain anything. So I, I was having a church in town. Then the church closed. So he came to me. He saw me on Facebook and contacted me. Then he came. Said, ah, Bruce. Then I found out that he was in, he was now doing ministry. So that's when ah, we started. He's in ministry. ministry. Yes. I said he's a calling. Yes. So, so when I met him now, our well, second phase. He was now having this girl. But do you understand? So, this girl you met where? We met in Prophet's Shem Church. Aha. Uh -huh. So, you are in church, right? Yes. And you meet someone. And you are a man of God. Yes. Do you understand that these people are looking for Jesus, not you? Yes. That. Do you understand why I called here your wife? 
Yes, Daddy, I understand. Uh, okay. Mm. Yeah. It wasn't a prophecy about what will happen. Yes, I understood. Mm. It is a prophecy much. of what's happening right this minute. Yes, Daddy. So, I want to pray for you. Pray for me, I pray, in fact, I want to pray for, for that photo. Where's the photo? Where's the photo? You are the first man of God. God showed me in a vision seven years ago. Seven years ago, and God I showed you. To, yes, I delayed coming here. Do you believe I'm a prophet? I believe you're the prophet sent to my life. Okay. Because this woman now has given herself to you. Yes, that is true. Now. She even prayed that I will have an encounter with she's you what? today. She, what? she declared a word over the phone and said, may God but you pay met for today. you. Did you meet today? Yes, I took her from work and I dropped her home. Okay, so on Sunday, do you, do you, do you, do you preach on Sunday or what do you do? No. I, I go to serve under your son's church. Oh, you go to serve? Yes. What happened after service with the woman? We went home. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Professor. I mean the other thing after you got home. <laughs> so this one is your woman, eh? Yes, Daddy. Thank yeah, you. Go, go marry this woman. Thank you so much. Thank eh. you. She's not pregnant, though. Yes. Okay. Mm. You know, you know what you used. Yes. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Yes. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Yes. <laughs> you see this man here? Yes. I can joke with him like this. I'm telling the truth though. This man will be used of God. Thank you, I receive. And you? Don't lose hope. Stand up. Don't use hope. Don't use hope. Something close doesn't mean say you we have to run around. Yeah. Hmm? Remain, stick to, to your man of God. Thank or you, there is this thing you started. Whatever you said here, it yes. failed. I'm not prophesying on this part. Yes. God is not finished with you. Amen. Don't lose heart. Amen. Finances were your biggest issue. Finances. How do I Very do this? True. How do That's I do this? True. And then venue. Finances, venue, finances. Yes. And every time so you will get some people to come to you, they will leave. Yes. Even the people who are saying we're supporting you like this. Yes. They left. But God. I want you to connect with him. Major! May your money locate you. May your money locate you. May money find you. Rabagazuza kate ketela ingrasuka dabarade jabarade shata baraske zesko sasa magabrakdoze hete kebahada pera kuzata livre kete leke bahada masheko pro shata livre hete zika baha. Mante go priga do shata libre hede raka papa yate ligo papa regeti aso shapra kate laka paliko around the world regeti zika bahada something is happening lapra kata regeti bahada 
Manteki Akato, Jebregete Likabahade, Mamparosa, He Bregete Likabahade, Manteleki Akato, Jebregete Likabahade, Mantel Likabahade, Libra Catelikabahade, Libra Catazagabahade, Laka Papayata Rikabo Shate, La Paracato Sate Libra Cate, Mantel Likre et Zikabahade, Japa Parade, Libra Catazikabahade, Maze Correde Boschata Libre. La papa kata rika bahade, maze kolita kala rada bahade, mante libra kata lagere de bahade, mante libra abadia sote, jeke de de kelere de bahade. Begi hirete ya, kaliku paras kaliga baraniata, lesanta ya nanto karato, parusa tela kiata kaya siata, riki te begi hirete ya, lali kora koska tela niato, masaka bahaya tiata, shipras keish kalataya. Laritaya nindu para kushka tela diato, reprek tele kete, kasa kasha kata ya bahara diato, luri parza kia kala niato, nenzo rakosa te akaya diato, shukres kapniata, lakira pronte le nesente le diato, shi para kata ya zaya kata, rekete shi kros kapronta linosko branai, lari suja kia tona noso, rezeja kaya taya. Rahusha prenda kira kia tola noso Prante krakta liga bahaya tiyata Ya paraka to sata livre kete zika bahande Mata prasha to livre kete lika bahande Marusa pregi ya kate Isha praka daleke bahande Mapaka sote livre kete zika bahande Mala kropa yite leke rida busa tila bade Livre kete zika bahande Maparosa te libre que te zika bahade, matoka apadia sate, jebre que te lika bahade, merika prosa te lika bahade, male prosa te lika rada bahade, mansa patezo, refre que te zika bahade, jabaga laga te lika bahade. Everyone around the world watching me right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, wherever you are, on Zoom, on every channel, I decree and declare now, Higher life to you in Jesus' mighty name. You shall experience the higher life. Zekona, follow me. Zekura dasus ke deskes. Re arande salaske. Malisata. You never change. Yesterday, today, higher, higher, higher. You are great, God. Hallelujah, higher, higher, higher. You never change. You never change. Renango Shaika Kizuza. Is this your first time here? No. It's not your first time? Yes. How many times have you been here? Uh, I think more than three times. More than three times? Yes. Wow. So you've been coming, nobody has been prophesying to you? Yes. Nobody? Yes. You want prophecy or you don't? I only want it, man, of course. So what do you want to know about this uh, picture? <laughs> if you can marry this lady? Yes. Okay, hold it. No. Let me tell you something. Come, come, son. See, I just call everyone son because when I'm in this mode, it's God who is speaking. All right? So, so you're not a member of this church. Don't look at them. It's me who is talking to you, son. Yes. Yes, Father. Smile. (laughs) 
God wanted me to ask you a simple question. Yes. Then you make your decision. Yes. Why are you in love with the wireless girlfriend? Why? No. Uh, well, what happened? They they separated with Warren. Huh? They separated with Warren. No. Here it is. You. You. Okay. Do we have any location where we meet with Wale and your girlfriend? No. And we sit down we're like this was Wale's like girlfriend? No. <laughs> Let me tell you something. This young man here, God called you to be a money magnet. Not, he's not even hearing me. So when God knows your whole generation is relying on you, you cannot make mistakes like you're making now. If you want me to lie to you, you want me to lie to you? No. That says the Lord Mary. No. This is a lie. Help me, prophet. Help me. Uh, he doesn't want help. Yeah. Yeah. Help him, prophet. Please talk, talk to him on the side. Talk to him on the side. When he wants help, bring him. Uh, there is no talk about Wale and before this. This is it. Listen, I need to go home. <laughs> so, are you still friends with this one? The boy? Yes. Yes. You're friends with the former boyfriend? Yes. You are, you are a general, you. I fear you. I fear this brother here. Yes. Now, you tell, ask him if he really wants my help, and so I can tell him the whole truth. See, this is the reason why it's sometimes very difficult to come to this church. Not Bruce Rashiri Zago. You see, sometimes when I name, hey, sometimes when I name, that's why I say pastors. Pastors act like they're not pastors. They become so posh. Pastors, you sit down. Like, yes, we are very important. Pastor means you are saving. Doesn't mean boss. I see it. See, sometimes when I name children, they come out. So, hey. <laughs> is there a pastor in this place? Thank God. Check your tag. Is written pastor. Arre kukumle. You never change. Yesterday, today. It's coming. 
You know. There's a lady with a pregnancy there. You have a pen and a paper? You have a pen and a paper. Thank you. All right. Prophesy. The prophet to Christianity. You never change. Yesterday, today. Just three days under eight months. Yes, true. Okay. Ah, you are here. What, what, uh, what child is this? Um, this can say she's a girl, Papa. It's a male. It's a male. Ah, it's a male. you said it's a girl. It's a male, Papa. He has forgotten. <laughs> How did you come out with a girl? Uh, Tell the truth. What's happening? <laughs> I'm excited, Papa. I'm uh, excited to see you, Papa. No, no. What did the doctor say to you? Um, she actually went herself, and uh, she said it's a boy. It's a boy. So where do you get girl? <laughs> there. A boy called Dan. There. Now... Now, see, this is where the problem is. The father is on a girl, the mother is on a boy. Stand there. I'm dealing with it in a few minutes. How? If you want a girl, we can change to a girl now. Trust me. This thing, I can do it now. See, it's a grace you are given. It's not a grace I tune it. In this moment, right this minute, if this man here remains with his confession, I turn it into a girl now. Wait there. I'm coming to you. And the power resides in a father only. A father is the only one who can decide. So wait there. Decide. Don't negotiate. Don't even discuss which one wants what. You stand there. Don't talk. You keep what you like. I want to see you. <laughs> People have no idea. You know why I, why I did this? People have no idea the power of a father. Let me give you statistics that nobody will care to tell you. 90% hear this in America, right? Of women file for divorce. Not men. Men don't leave. It's women that leave. And out of that 90%, are you getting this? Out of that 90%, if they are put in place, 88%, all of them left when they got more money than the men. Women always leave when they think they have power over the men. Hear this now. Hear this. Hear this so you understand the power of a father. Every, from the statistics of uh, people who commit crimes, over 70% are people who were raised by a mother only. Guess what now? When the mother is not there and the father is raising, 90% of them don't go to jail. These are statistics on the... Listen, this is an American society. 90% of single fathers who raise their child as a father 
They don't go to jail. Over 70% of all ladies that raise their children, their children go to hell, go to jail. All of them. 70. And guess what? And guess what? If they can go there, they are being led to hell. Because it's no, there is, a woman has no ability to raise a child. You can feed the child, but you can't raise the child. No, you, you didn't hear me. That's why your duty is to nurture a child. But you can't raise one. No matter how you lie to yourself that I raised there. No, you never did. That's why most kids that are raised by women are troubled in their heads. They don't know what it is to treat a man. So when they see a man, they want the man to become another, another woman. So when they get into a society, society can't even understand them. And they are very right in what they do. They, are, they, they think they know it. But they don't know. They don't know. They only were raised one, one person who wasn't raising them, was feeding them. A nurturer. A woman is an incubator. A man is a supplier. That's why the head is Christ and the body. And on the body, there is no entrance. All of it are exits. They, see, see, I, I know they didn't get it. There is no entrance on a man. Oh, you see, now you're getting what I'm saying. We are simply here to supply. That's it. We have no receiving point. Nothing. Not on our body, never. We have no receiving point. Everything a man holds in his body is an exit. That's why God says it's an abomination for a man to be entered into. Because you are using an entrance, an exit as an entrance. We are suppliers and women are naturers. You give them a house, they make it a home. You give them a sperm, they make it a child. You give them trouble, they produce hell. So, 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 when the father said something, I said, wait, I need to know who likes what. Then we make it exactly. But I can't let them decide in that manner, like, oh, I'm just going to decide for the husband. Maybe he made a real mistake. Hey, hey, hey. What got me to want to prophesy? Hey, 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 go home. <laughs> Professor, listen to me. Listen, listen. We will do all night when you have a house. <laughs> Which church do you go to, young man? Which church do you go to? No, he, won't, he wants to whisper. change yesterday today Begin to pray. Jose Jo Prakolani Antalakata Perikitilize Jacaradiato 
Paruse ke tele behere tiante li graski shataya no somaranianta Paruse ke te behere te shaka taya soche korato ya ne santaya ka li krakte la zija grante mariku bahaya kataya rekete ke tele begete rata dija karati antone no so prakta la bahara kaya taya leke te begere te. Rande Koranosko Plakta La Diata, Rizi Huzi Bahaya Zayanto, Praktola Niakala Nenzo Ronoso, Raki Du Bahaya Ziati, Siko Tele Dreska Prakta La Diata, Yasa Kataya, Leke Tele Behere Teya, Pronte Korasi Jakala Diata, Shakataya Bahara Taya, Lente Rectela Kroske Prectele Diata, Sihusa Diata, Mashoko Tolo Behere Te. Rati jo krakta la payaniata, rane sonanta ya kata bahara taya, rehuji kabahara diato, ji bahasa kata ya, let race katronte leke tele diato, si baso si bahaya kala niante, pariko tele zoji krakto la paya diato, sukatini kaya donte le meseke tele pranta, kaya te kaya te, jakaroske pranta li kata la diato. Parose kota la niasa, zeko bahaya, yaka diko pa, parika diji galata ya niante, li prakta la zaya haya ziato, more kora no so para diato, kushe kota ya donske pranta la kiata, zaka baya kata ya kata ya, kere seja krakta la diante, nandungu pagada ya kata, krikta li krakta la kata ya ziato, mare kopa. Pikovskanto, Yako Seketele Behe, Tante Karanskara Pranda Kiratiato, Jakataya Kabakataya Kata, Rigate de Seja Cross de Fronta, Li Prakta Lakia Sushe Bray, Marekla Zizabai. Ah, yes, Setai, no, Giena. Evangelist Lee and Pastor Felix. Let's begin to prophesy. And you guys, you can go home. <laughs> Is that it now? She's just sleeping there. Oh, my God. Where will you be? You are seeing it. And really, it's going Bravo, they know, Kai. What do you want God to do for you? Where is your other children? Uh, she's at home. Ah. Yes. So, but uh, there's nothing in here? No. Mm. Okay. Where is the man? He's working at the hippodrome right now. Yeah, he's at the hippodrome. Okay. Okay, so tomorrow you see me with the, with the man, or the man, tell the man to see him, right? The man only, see him. Then, because, you know, you know, it seems as if ladies have got more speed than men. <laughs> so, the power of God can increase the speed of the, uh -huh, you get what I'm saying. La <laughs> okay, I know, ma. How are you? Where am I even prophesying? Come here. Stand here. I'm coming to you.
Jesus. No, 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 no. I'm asking the people that I said, I don't want to prophesy. Come, come here. I speak for you. Whatever held. Because I saw as I stood there, I saw a demon taking a ring and putting a ring back. It was as though a whole family is clouded by problems with regards to marriage. Yes, I'm not married, Papa. And mm. my sister is not married. She just eloped. No, I so this, this picture here, you, I don't know it before this. Yes. You didn't send, you didn't send me? Yes. You, you didn't send me? No. Oh, okay. Papa, See here, Papa. I saw English, like Tawanda. Yes, the, the, the guy on the left is Tawanda. Now imagine after you see Tawanda, I see Masara. Masara. Masara is the sister to the mother of this one. No, no, no. How do you see a sister to the mother? <laughs> now when I looked at it, it was as if this is this guy just stood up, stood up and said, I'm going. That's true. And then went to another woman. Yes, he's still with the woman. Uh, why are you praying for your uncle in uncle? Why? Is it uncle? Yes, he's my uncle. <laughs> he's a son to my uncle, my, my mother's brother. So the guy just left, like, I'm gone. Yes, and people tried to reason with him, don't leave these people. Don't That's leave. True. He went to someone else. Yes, even on Christmas Day, people went to. But I want to him. pray to cancel death. Because <laughs> even the spirit of death was going to follow him. You pass, Papa, you pass. You? There is even a friend of yours. It's like one day you were sleeping. Yes. And a dream came. And in the dream, I saw this girl died, is dead. And everyone is saying, this one is dead, this one is dead. Yes, and when you woke up, you thought, this is strange. Yes. Where is the person? You told her when? <laughs> On Monday. <laughs> huh? You were praying. I was crying the word dream and she was dead. And I said, No, she can't be dead. No, she can't be dead. And I woke up and I told her. When did you have when did you have this dream? On Monday. On Ma Monday, Monday, this Monday. Yes, I And today is when? Wednesday. Wednesday. And I'm seeing what you dreamt on Monday. Yes, Papa. Yes, Papa. Look at it. They are all crying. They are all crying. <laughs> now, you sister, if you see God is seeing a dream when you were dead, it's no longer a joke. It's no longer a joke. We cancel death in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Whosoever planned death for you, it is canceled in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I don't care what they have said. Yeah. They might have said you are going to die, you are going to end, but I decree and declare life to you, life to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Rasekukare. Para te cosa, glas queretosca. Susate, garatat ay baloske, peradus queradaskis, se sacales kadai. Yes, a Yes, yes, yes. Sharerare. Sika baguli en kai. Ah, 
You are delivered. You are increased in the name of Jesus. Money will begin to look for you. Peace is looking for you. In the name of Jesus. Shout yes! yes. You will not lack any good thing. The enemy has already been removed from your side. It will not take place. What you planned will not take place. In the name of Jesus. these guys eh? this is guys they were in another location one time and all they do is everything is true no matter no matter what I said they were like everything is true they don't care what is being said they say everything is true I wasn't planning on doing anything right now so around the world Let's get our offering time around the world. Those around the world, is raise your hands. Then we get into the prophetic and you guys can go home. Those who have houses. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Those who are around the world who are watching us right this minute. Your seed will speak for you. Your offering speak for you. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare this seed for today. Let it go on the account of you understanding what has been preached today. That it is something that will produce miles and miles of distance in the spirit. That will guarantee you multiple sources of income. Everyone will be compared and a castle will happen and people will give from their bosom to you. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ as your offering is being given right this minute as it is prompted on the screen. I decree and declare you are not giving in vain. Your increase is secured. You are shielded. You are protected. You are empowered in the mighty name of Jesus Around the world, begin to give right now your offering and your tithing. Begin to give right this minute. Those who are on Zoom, we are with you right this minute. Do it right now. Do it right now. And let this year be a changed year. Where you say, I don't give what I used to give. I give something bigger. In the name of Jesus. Those who are here, raise your hands. And you are giving your offering. Did you date? Did you take your... All right. Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree over their offering, over their tithing. In the name of Jesus, that it is sanctified right this minute in Jesus' mighty name. Receive it. Amen. Come and give it here. Come and drop it in. And around the world, something is happening.
hands. We're about to get into the prophetic and of course you guys can go home. It is important that you go home. It's called home for a reason. What do you want God to do for you? My brother. That is upon you, man of God. So very. Someone went, Jesus. <laughs> Are you together? Or? Yeah. Okay, come on. I speak increase in the name of Jesus. Over their lives, over your lives. Your money will look for you. Money will begin to locate you. In the name of Jesus. I speak longevity. Prosperity increase. In the name of Jesus. You will move mountains. You will not be stopped. Rabaleskeda. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. <laughs> Telekete <laughs> Prophesy, guys, prophesy. Go, 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 go. Is there anybody prophesying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm here. I'm here, prophet. Come here, brother. Thank you, prophet. Thank you, prophet. Thank you. Come, you. Oh, yeah, yes. Prophesy. Um, I think most of you know my history about how I got to be able to be doing this. I think I've said it like a thousand times. Um, and I'm still uh, grateful. It was just being told, go and prophesy, and I started. I believed. I believed. When my father said it, I believed it. Have you ever met me before, a young man? No. No? No? Okay, we want to change a few things here. This is a very serious situation. Um, especially to do with your father. Oh, yes. Okay? There's this issue where somebody has been waiting for a long time. Oh, yes. And it's an, an, sort of an unfair dismissal. Oh, yes. And people are playing games with someone's life. True. Because now, for somebody to look after the family, it's becoming very complicated. That's a true story. And even you, you, you got things that you did not want to get. Uh, especially in talking about the results that you got at school, is not what you expected. But you still want to continue and do something. Very true. But, if, but when we look at the family, the performance of the family, is sometimes some of these, uh, it's not really up to standard, some, some of the performances, especially, oh, yes. oh, at, yes. especially at school. It's true. But, um, but 
But the main issue we want to pray about is about your father. Oh, so yes, that oh, God yes. can intervene on the situation. Oh, yes. Because there is this waiting and waiting and waiting. Even the pension was a problem. This is NRS that we are talking about. It's very true. Very true. Very true. He works at NRS. He was at NRS recently. He was at NRS recently. But he was at NRS recently. Recently. Yes. Even there's a sister who moved out. Yes. Recently. The, the, even school very was true. not very good. Yes, that's very true. So, we, w there is something we want to pray about, especially supernatural intelligence. Oh, yes. Oh yes, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Supernatural intelligence. Oh, yes. We want to, pro we want, we want oh, to, yes. to pray about this, too. Because I see even at home. Uh, you know, when somebody begins to perform below standard, you know, it's, it's every school, they have got a standard where they say, expected standard at this school Very and uh, sure. and over expected standards then oh, yes. below standard yes but there's this one <laughs> do you know uh somebody called lenny lenny yes that's my little brother lenon that's lenon okay do you know do you know somebody called tawana that's his second name <laughs> prophesy But then there is a little sister as well. But we need to pray for these ones. Oh, yes. We need to pray for these. Because I see like K-I-M. K-I-M. What's, what's the name? Kimbali. 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 I don't know if, I don't know if that's the spelling, but that's how I see it. I see Kimbali. Kim. Kim. Kimbali. We, we need to pray for this one. Especially these ones. Because this... And you think your father is not proud of you. Very he, true. He, he is proud of you. It's very true. He is just going under a lot of pressure right now. Very true. Very under true. a lot of pressure. Because when I see you like this, I see you taking, uh, going, you know, the Blawaya Road. That, uh, 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 that side, uh, it's actually South Aton, then Glenview, then the other side. I don't know. Where do you live? Some, somewhere, somewhere after Glenview. Where do you live? It's Budiriro. Ah, 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 ah. Because, because... Even I see your father like this. I see a house that he was it's, it's through NRZ. It's in the Glen Glen something. I'm not sure. Yes, he was. He was. It's a house. He was given a, a stand in Glenora. In a stand in Glenora. Glenora. That's where he built something. Yes. Uh -huh. But you know, there is somebody holding. There is somebody holding. Um, you know. You know why they're giving so much. Um, so many problems right now is because there's fear to pay him from when they dismissed him. Okay, okay, okay. Tell so this me. is what I want the whole church to lift up your hands and pray for you. Yes. It was an unfair dismissal. And they are holding the determination for years now. Oh, yes. And they are not doing anything because somebody's sitting on something. Oh, yes. Father, we pray. By the anointing of our prophet, you be the angel. Yeah. That something is happening right now. I it. I Let it be it. a testimony with witnesses I in the name it. of Jesus. And even, even this, your future, is sort of in limbo. But I am praying that someone will discover you. I receive, I receive, I receive Especially it. Especially to do with the football. I receive it, I receive. I Somebody receive. will see you. I receive. Thank oh. you, thank you. Yes, I play football. I play football. Somebody That's true. will see you. That's somebody, true. I pray that somebody will see you. I receive. There's going to be a change. Oh, yes. Where's your, where, where's your pic picture of your father? This man is proud of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you will look tough, but he's proud of you. He's very tough. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the tough man. <laughs> but he's very proud of you. Thank you, thank you, thank the you. The language of love does not exist in him. Oh, yes. But he loves you. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, prophet. Thank you. Something is happening.
Something is happening in the atmosphere. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Yes. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Jesus. You need to understand one thing. Like what I always tell you. That I'm not a prophet. But I'm just a son of a prophet. And whatever you see me. And whatever you see me doing. It's not me, but my father, prophet, Yobed Angel. The prophet to this dispensation. Can I prophesy just a little bit? Prophesy. Yes, come closer, my sister. Malasika, bro, shut up. Something is happening. That sister there. Malasika, bro, shut up. Because I begin to see something. I begin to see something because lift up this photo because the first time I laid my eyes on this photo I begin to see sickness yes it's true sickness Very true. sickness, sickness yes, it's true. because this man right now yes. is sick who is yes. this man he's my dad that's your dad yes can I prophesy prophesy because the fact that you are here Breathing the same air with yes. the prophet to Christianity. Amen. Amen. Healing is touching this man. I receive. Amen. Thank because you. I begin to see sickness and a lot of stress. Yes, he's actually stressed. Are, he's stressed. Stressed, yes. He's stressed. Very stressed. And this is something to do with money. Yes, it's actually people true. People own money. Yes, it's he true. He gave people money. money and, and these people are not, are not returning, returning the money. Yes, it's true. Can I prophesy? Oh, because Kalamanda, join hands. That's your mother. Join hands. Because something is happening. And my sister, is it your first time here or you come here? It's my first time. It's your first time? Yes. Mala Sika Prajo. What do you want God to do for you? I want God to bless me. To I just want to be successful. You want to be successful. I want my business to flourish. This is the solution ground. Your business is flourishing. I receive. And up there, your business is flourishing too. I receive. Because I begin to see something on you. Because I saw like a star shining above you. And the Lord told me, he's about to take you higher than never before. I receive. Yeah, the same the way I receive, you are receiving. I receive. I receive. Because I see this thing where the enemy was trying to do. Attacking marriages and relationships. Even in your family. Correct. Huh? Correct. Correct. Yes. I know I'm correct. I'm a son of a prophet. Son of a How many are you in your family? It's just one. Just Myself, one? Myself, yes. Yourself? I've got a half sister. You have a half sister? Yes. Same What's the mother, name of that same mother? Same mother, different fathers. Different fathers. Yes. But I even saw on that one, I saw Malasika Praktoza. I saw a ring. Coming on and off a ring. She on was and off. married, they separated. She was married yes. and they separated. Prophesy. Can I prophesy? Prophesy. But if I be a son of a prophet, I'm seeing the Lord touching that sister it and received. also touching you. I receive. Can extend that from this very hour. Things will start working for you. I receive. Even money will work for you. I receive. Even relationships will work for I you. I receive. Because as of now, it's complicated. I Even when it comes to you. Amen and amen. It's complicated yes. when it comes to relationship. It's not, you're not sure where it's going when it comes Very to relationship. Very true. Very true, yes. I know. But if I be a son of a prophet, things are changed. Even this one. That's why I saw an angel of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Moving Thank you, Jesus. from here. Yes. And it's going. Malasika prof shata And I saw an angel of the Lord touching a door. And on this door, I saw numbers like 11 or 11 one or 11. 11, 8, 38. 11 something. <laughs> yes. Can I prophesy? Our prophesy. <laughs> our house address. Your house address. Yes. I saw like 11. 11, 8, Because the Lord told me that this man shall not die like what, uh, what happened to his brother. Prophesy. Because I saw like a brother. Oh, passed on. Oh, yes. His brother. Oh, yes. Passed on. Oh, yes, yes. Passed on. That's true. Passed on. That's true. Huh? That's Committed true. suicide. Yes, yes. Huh? Yes. Shot suicide. himself. Yes. With a gun. Yes. Former That's police true. or something. Yes. That's 
Can I prophesy? Prophesy. prophesy. Oh, yes. From this very hour. Let's stretch your hand toward this man. I saw an angel of the Lord touching the stomach. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Huh? He has acids. Acids. Yes, that's true. The angel of the Lord is touching the stomach. Thank you, Jesus. And you don't worry because you and your sister, all of you, you are touched by the unction of I the receive. Holy Ghost. I receive. Lift up your hands and begin to pray for these guys. Yes, Sakabahaya Katani Proska Brahaya. Jikiti Izikiti Rakat Kuprehia. Begin to pray for them. 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 Nanda Kora Kete Brihi Zizu Bahaza Kataya Riki Tiki Bigiti Randi Gora Masiata Yazaba. It is done. Celebrate Jesus. Somebody celebrate Jesus. So, oh, before I close, all the tithers run to the front. Tithers, just come and stand it. My brother, is it your first time here or you come here? It's your first time? Yes. What do you want God to do for you? All tithers run to the front. I want to pray for you as I'm praying for this brother. What do you want God to do for you? I'm, I'm praying that he makes his purpose for me very clear. Uh, on, it and it can manifest the way he wants it to manifest. We just... <laughs> This one's yes, uh, and I've, I've got a, I've got several businesses. Don't worry. Uh, After the service, meet me there. Okay. Yes. Then we'll make it clear. <laughs> All tithers, there's a tithe. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bless these tithers by power and the action of the Holy Ghost. I decree and declare that there is increase coming to them, prosperity coming to them. I rebuke the devourer for their sake. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Just drop it there. Touch the altar. Drop it there. And by the grace of our Father, Prophet of the Angel, this is, these are just the highlights of what we are going to be doing next Sunday. So Sunday, don't miss. And remember when you are coming, you are not coming alone. Carry your brother, your sister, your relatives, your uncle, whatever it is bring them here. And you, you stay here. The one who expects you. Do you stay here? Where do you stay? In Kwazana. In Kwazana. Yes. Come Sunday. I'll prophesy to you and to that person on the photo. Alright. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you for these that manage to attend today's service with the prophet of God. Father, let grace be there for them. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. God bless you all. I will see you.